Nintendo has gone full Doom mode and slaughtered everything in this patch, whether it be for better or for much worse. Let's discuss version 4.0.0. So let's cut the music and leave it to later. Let's discuss the buffs, and honestly, they're all pretty good. However, it's not off to a great start with the Carbon Roller. For a start, this weapon didn't really need a buff, it's already fine as it is. We've seen some Carbon Rollers at top level already, so I don't know why Nintendo chose to buff this. Carbon Roller players can correct me in the comments, but I don't think anybody looks at this weapon and thinks, yeah, the rolling speed needs to be faster. Good for Carbon Roller players, I guess. A buff never hurts you, but yeah, that's not really gonna do much of anything. Octobrush, now that's a weapon that could use some buffs. Uh, I guess this weapon was pretty ink hungry. It's nice to see the weapon gets a buff and it will really help it zip caster out. This means that it'll get more swings per special, which is actually really useful for this weapon specifically. The Snipewriter also got its ink consumption ink ink consumption. The Snipewriter also got its ink consumption changed, and it also moves faster too. I think people are slightly underrating this buff. It means that the weapon's weaknesses which are vulnerability and its ink consumption, are less of a problem. What this weapon really needs to shine is better object damage, and while this wasn't provided this time around, the ability to circumnavigate these weaknesses is really cool and a great change. Already skipping over to specials, we've got Big Bubbler. In my eyes, this buff is actually super useful. Bubbler got a bigger maximum radius, which is cool, but the main thing I'm happy about is the damage multipliers that got added. Bubble's main issue was the insane object damage that specials like Crab does to it, and now that that's gone, I think that this special could get quite a bit better. Weapons like Ballpoint will probably still end up shredding it though. Tacticola got a pretty nice buff. Not only did it increase the effect of special power up, but it also increased the Tacticola's duration by a whopping 2 seconds. This is crazy, and while it doesn't fix some of the issues with the special, the buff is still super nice to see. I don't really have anything else to say on it though. And finally for specials, Super Jump got a massive buff. Not only will it be aimed closer to help with fights more, and not only will its paint radius be increased by a whopping 40%, but its indirect damage has been changed from 25 to 35. Insane changes, and I'm super excited to see this special more often. Believe it or not, that's the last of the buffs. I'm not going to go into the Sam Run stuff since I don't really know too much about the mode, and I'm sure big leagues like Hasmi or Brian will cover all the changes in the nick of time. And now, let's crank up the Doom because Nintendo did not hold back with the nerfs. Some weapons and specials were absolutely slaughtered. First up on the chopping block is the splash matic This weapon got its paint at a distance decreased by 10%, which means farming specials will be harder and more committal. Fine by me, splash was kind of a crab spammer, so this was deserved after 9 months of crustacean domination, as I like to call it. Now let's look at machine- Oh! It's gonna take an extra 10 to 15 frames to kill, depending on your accuracy. And your paint output is even worse. And you have more downtime. So your 220 points for special weapon, with mid paint, now paints even worse. Rip machine players, maybe you'll live, maybe you won't. That's pretty hard hitting. 5 extra frames is no joke guys, and if you thought that was bad, I'm not finished. Splatana Stamper has not only got a hitbox reduction, but also consumes more ink by 30%. This means that you can no longer reliably use quick respawn on Stamper, because you'll have to dedicate so much of your gear to Ink Saber. The Wiper seems like a better option for that niche now, which is cool until you realize that Ultra Stamp got absolutely murdered in this patch. Without special power up, the duration for Ultra Stamp has been decreased by 1.5 seconds. That's a 17% decrease, and to prove just how dumb this is, here's a PNG of an Ultra Stamp shown for 1.5 seconds. That is how much time has been shaved off. And keep in mind, Stamp is one of the worst specials in the game, and out of every single special in the game, Nintendo decides to nerf this one. I'm gonna take a bit longer to talk about this one, because I feel I need to get out there just how horrible of a decision this was. At launch, Ultra Stamp was an unusable special. Every weapon that had it was hindered purely because of it, which in my opinion is really lame. Thankfully, things got better, and with time, Ultra Stamp became a usable special again. Now, lots of stamp weapons are back to being irrelevant, and Wiper is now hurt because of this too. But don't worry, Wiper players, there's another new weapon that you can use. Except it spams missiles and is less fun for both sides of the battle. Splatana players are really not eating good this patch. Overall, this change makes no sense to me, and I think it is possibly the worst part of the patch. After the insane patch prior to this one, I expected some better changes than these, but sadly, I just don't think that's the case. They went so hard on things like Stamper and Ultra Stamp weapons, Ballpoint will just continue to dominate as a result of its competition being destroyed. I don't know where the game will go from here, but one thing's for certain. This patch contains some of the weirdest decisions so far. I'm not sure how to feel about this, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. But aside from that, have a wonderful day and take care. At least they didn't buff missiles, I guess.